This tutorial explains how to reverse the order of the characters in a character string using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video I will show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the vector object that we can create with line 2 of the code. So if you run this line of code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data object is appearing which is called x. And we can print this data object to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 3 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a vector containing three different character strings. Now let's assume that we want to reverse the order of each of the elements in this character string vector. Then we can apply the code that you can see in lines 5 to 7. So in these lines of code I'm using the s apply, the l apply, the str split, the ref and the paste functions. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the bottom that our elements of the character string vector are reversed. So for instance, the first element has been A, B, C, D, E, and now it is E, D, C, B, A. However, you have also seen that if we want to use the basic installation of the R programming language, this task is relatively complicated because we had to use many different functions. And for that reason I want to show you a second example in which I'm using the stringy package. So if we want to use the functions of the stringy package we first need to install and load the package as you can see in lines 9 and 10 of the code. I have installed this package already so for that reason I'm just going to load it with line 10 of the code. And after running this line of code we are able to use the functions of the stringy package such as tree reverse as you can see in line 12 of the code and we have to apply this function simply to the name of our vector object x so if you run line 12 of the code you can see that exactly the same output is returned as in the previous example however this time the syntax has been much simpler. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I am explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.